Ooh. Shieldred, Tinker, Hall Breacher. I think Shelly is the pick. Shelly's probably the pick. I kind of want to take Hall Breacher. That's probably not reasonable. There's like three good blue cards too. There's only one good black card. You would breach. I think it's bad pig though. From people I've talked to. What do you take here? Necromancy or Inquisition? I think probably Necromancy this early. Bitter Triumph, Toxic Deluge. I Bitter Triumph. Good thing. Plenty of cards. Underground Sea. Right, Underground Sea or Grist. I'm not sure. Delusion Bitter is close. Mm, not so sure. Bitter Triumph's really freaking good. Especially when I have Necromancy already. Did pass a lot of good blue cards. Don't feel like I've passed a lot of. I feel like I always draft green. It doesn't go that well for me. I think I'm going to take the Grist. And Grist kind of premium. Punished. Could have gotten an underground Sienna Kaido now. <clears throat> what do you take now? Phil Kaido. Brainstorm Shelly is nice. Kaido could table. Brainstorm Grist kind of a combo too. I'm a big Kaido fan. I guess Kaido enables Elutes too. I would say Kaido. Recurring Nightmare and Fractured Identity. I mean, I feel a little bit Nightmare. This really. The Worm. The Worm works was... Worm works was Necromancy. We have to have it set up. The mana stuff could be good. It was the Archfiend. And then Interpreter could be good too. Preordain. I might not be blue though. Good spec for Flash, yeah. I might not be green, I guess. I'll take Preordain. I like that pick. It's Preacher, I guess. To me, a table was the other cards Tinker and. Hall Breacher. To blue nuts necessarily open. I could take an elf. Better was recurring nightmare. I guess blue black could be okay. There's a bunch of stuff you can recur in blue black as well. To me, it's just more powerful, I guess. Solid Shredder. Witness was was recurring. I'll take the shredder. Bazaar. Bazaar is good if your curve's really low. Could have an OK Jitte deck. Maybe not. Spec Bazaar. Spe Squee Bazaar. Could be Jeskai. Or not Jeskai. Could just be Esper. Good stuff. Dual Lane. Oust is not a bad card. The Gurk is really strong, right? I see people pick that card really high. I'm not 100% sold because it does get chomped and dies a lot, but I guess it's the pick here. Fable's probably the best card in the pack. Mana Drain. Wow. Well. Mana drain, but I don't have a ton of stuff to sink into it. Well, what else would I even take? Just take mana drain and be happy about it. No complaints here. Kitsa has been really good, but I should probably take Marsh Flats. I hope to get a blue black dual land at some point, or should I secure the Vista and play it safe? Take Marsh Flats. Good old DT. 
Gotta be DT, right? Ooh, Lurus. Not really a Lurus deck. Under City Sewer. My beautiful. Primus is, is really good. It's like one of the best recurring nightmare targets. Also, if I ever get Flash, I can tutor Flash Primus. What else would I even take? Back Street, I'm not really white. Seal, I already have DT. But there's a Tom Clark Talisman. I didn't even see that. I feel like Primus is. I need mm, Talisman, yeah. Yeah, maybe I can get like. I can still get like Archon or something. And Primus might not even end up being that great for me. Is Jace? Jace still a playable card? People have played Nether Goyf against me. I haven't been impressed though. Surely Jace is still a fine playable card, right? Surely. And you take Dress down over Jace? The Mighties have fallen. Let's take Hedge Maze here. Could play that Grist. Is there a world where I end up playing Wrath of God? I don't think so. I don't think I'm the clearing deck, but maybe I'll own the fixing. Leovold, off color, well, one color talisman. Let's take Leovold. Leovold Grist, I've seen uglier splashes, I've seen the worst cards. Deck's looking real nice. Could use all more cheap cards and a few more dual lands, but that's literally every vintage cube deck. Almost every vintage cube deck, except that one mono red deck that Spike drafted the other day. His curve was like piles of one, some twos, one three, and a couple fours. Flame. Probably not gonna play red. Taiga could be. It could have a weird fetch where Taiga is my green land, maybe? I do have wizards, right? Yeah, I should have taken the flame. That's a late harvester. And that card's quite strong. I'll take the late vitality. Probably not going to play the white no matter what. Oh, I see Days and Counterspell already. I like. Red and Catacomb. And Exhume. Metamorph, good too. Probably does Verdon Catacomb. How many playables do I have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, especially with Grizzly of Olds. Just not going to greet it up. Yeah, Flame of Inner is obviously good with Tamiyo, but I uh, like no red cards, no red fixing, so it's probably not happening. Great deck considering no power. All right, there's Grief or there's Bellful Strix. Playing Bellful Strix more like each table. Probably Grief, right? As much as I love the Strix, I'm assuming it's Grief. Good was Nightmare, so is Strix. Hmm. Thoughts? Anyone? I think Grief. I have some like snowbully cards, so maybe just pitching Grief might be a play. You know me, I will splash the Rumble. Should probably grab Untapped Overgrown Tomb first, though, and pray. Great other rumble tables. Ancient Tomb. I mean, I don't have the worst Ancient Tomb deck. I don't have the best Ancient Tomb deck. I have what, like, Talisman, Preacher, Goyf, Necromancy, Leovold. Yeah, I'm not going to take Ancient Tomb. What am I going to take, though? Is Bristly Bill just good cards? Oh, I have Time Twister. And Leo, I didn't even see the Time Twister. I think my mind just blanks out Time Twister because I'm kind of a wheel hater in general. Just Fatal Push. 
Ooh, mana leak. Mana leak or honestly, mana leak or nothing. All right, now I have the choice between that and Ottawara. That's 22 playables if I play every card. Yeah, Ottawara is kind of weak, right? The rest. This plays. I had a metamorph tables. So the days I love days. I even have two surveil lands to get the value. Metamorphs. Metamorphs so annoying to play against. It gives you an out against like people reanimating a track sign stuff. Days for days. I think I should have taken the metamorph, but the days for days sold it. Strike stables. I might play dig. At first I saw that card and I was like, wow, that card's probably just such gas and stuff. But then I was like, oh wait, it just doesn't do that much. Fallen Shinobi. It is kind of nice when you have Tamiyo and stuff, just trying to snowball stuff. Shinobi tricks, I know. Shinobi Tamiyo. I'm going to try playing it. I'm going to see if the Greek curse has been lifted yet. Should probably just counter draft that uh, the Jeskai cards. All right, I've got a million playables. I'm going to play once upon a time in that deck, though. I'll try Brutality as a must play. I wish I'd got like Crab Elimination. Probably shouldn't even play Recurring Nightmare, right? I don't really have that many combos. I mean, I have Strigs, Grief, it's kind of cute. Maybe it's good enough. Probably not though. Had a Arena open go. I went for free. I opened an absurd pool and probably punted one match. I kind of punted two games to be fair. I'm clear if I would have won either, but yeah, I was a little, a little, a little upset at myself. Just I thought I was going to have an easy seven win run first run and nope. I could just not play green, even though I do have all the fixing in the world. I mean... Green sources have one, two, three, four, five without playing a single forest. I believe all time twister, I know. But I could just like cut time twister and the two green cards and call it a day. Yeah, it is reasonable. Yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, oh, sad. You would run. Necromancy. Necromancy is just good in general, I think. Plus, I have like combos, Harvester. You can reanimate their stuff. Let's see, what could I cut? I could cut Fatal Push. I could cut Fatal Push. I could cut Shredder. Even though Cheap Flyer is good, was my Kaido. I could cut Push, I could cut Shredder, I could cut Dig. Dig's probably going to be pretty great in my deck, though. Talisman. I don't, I don't want to play 17 lands, no Talisman. Plus, I have, like, three good four mana cards to ramp into. And I have, like, one mana spells to play up the Talisman. I mean, I could cut Necromancy, I guess, just side it in. I actually don't hate it. All right, let's try like that. Four sources of green or two green cards. I think it's a little sketch, but force is also pretty heinous in my deck. So if I play five, five, I would have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I would have 10 of each and still be able to play a forest. All right, let's try the forest, I guess. I think that's really strong. Like, as far as not having power, can't do much better. Yeah, my deck was, I don't know if you saw the deck, but it was so good. It was so freaking good. Workshop, Talisman, Ballista. I mean, they're super flooded. The Talisman kind of enables their hands. I think Bubble, they get to go Workshop to turn two free, free Ballista. I guess I just take Bubble and hope they flood a bit. Didn't know Phil Luck played MTG. Maybe he started playing MTG for the, the Vintage Cube event, high stakes. Easiest bottom of my life. Well, if they don't top deck, I'll probably win. <laughs> They break six times in a row. That's kind of a bad sign. Or maybe you're worried about another discard spell. You'd think they would consider just playing it bigger next turn. Probably not worth it though. What's up, Jekyll? Thanks for the resub. Hope life is good. Not sure when's the next time I'll be back in Berlin. Time walk. Rude. I'll let you know, yeah. I do have my niece who lives in Berlin now, but I don't think I would go just to see her. Well, they didn't break. They drew godly. They're not pumping Ballista. Well, that's not good. I mean, they're just playing bad. I doubt it though. Easy. It's just free for my opening today. Just too free. Oh, that's a good reason. Shelly could still carry. I guess that's not even true. They can let you kill it with Ballista next turn. Also, they get the card of Shellback next turn. This Karma, because I was telling you, Sammy, he's getting the second best results losing around one of these feeder leagues. You know, when it was an on tap plan, if they have nothing. Little lag spike. Kind of unfortunate to have like zero artifact hate rights. Push, Brutality, Necromancy. All these cards looking that great. I mean, I don't hate my chances. They just had a really freaking good draw. I mean, it looks like their deck's great so far. 
This cheap interaction. The one ring is... Is the one ring just the best non... non-power... I don't know, how good is the one ring? Is it just like the best card in the cube? Yeah, no, obviously open and drew like godly. But especially after I had the rest. But I mean every card in their deck was a time walk. And then they have like one ring. Just time walks into one ring. Seems good. They probably have actual time walk in their deck. Alright, speaking of speaking of the one ring. Let's take it. All right, hope they don't have any acceleration here. Tap lands, you'll love to see it. They're not drawing golly so far. <clears throat> the card is good against discard spells though. Word, I know three of their cards. Why did it let me draw? I drew a reprieve. Wait, why did they... what just happened? They're baiting? It was a sword? My preacher, really? Or is hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm all confused. Alright, I guess we're about to find out. There's like five head play of baiting my mana leech because they have something better. Oh, I just don't know how cards work. They can just steal my preacher. It's pretty good. It's not the end of the world, though. Eh, it's pretty bad. Whoa, rough day. Rough day at the office. On boards. On board stuff. Hmm, that's good. Eight colonnades, kill my chase. Yeah, what can I tutor for? Kelly, I have Harvester. I don't think I need to be scared right now. Because I have Mana Drain. Also, I just have the mana for a dick for time if they pass. Damn, their deck is so good. Mana Vault, Swords. 
Old blue eyed dual lands. Contents kind of good was mana vault. Kitten of Vault to Fairy Ballista. Oh, it's infinite. Wow. Yeah. Did not know that was a loop. That's when it enters. Dude, they had it. I had to have a counter here, or else uh, I was in big trouble. <clears throat> Could just get Shelly. It's like Shelly or kill that thing. I'll have two colorless left. Dig, I'll have a black and two colorless. Oh, I get two cards, right? That's how it works. Nice. Okay, well, it's my turn to do cool stuff. That was a decent turn, yeah. Short of a time walk. Yeah, that was a good mana drain. I mean, doing what my deck's trying to do, right? Just pick people apart. And they're going to have upheaval. Sorry, I was the GG upheaval. That's the best card they can have here. Probably upheaval. I mean, there's like one one card that's better that I'm not thinking of. Besides combination of cards. They have nine mana. Ten was converter. I guess they could have ten mana Ulamog. I'm not sure I have a way to get rid of an Ulamog. Well, I was going to Shinobi. Shinobi is more fun. Oh, that makes a zombie? Oh, it's only a land token and everything else. Okay. Well, I guess Twister is not so good anymore. The Greek curse. The Greek curse is back. <laughs> Dude, I'm so cursed with that card. <laughs> the Greek curse is real. It was McKeese once I had that card and he was like, you're just going to hit two lands. And I hit two lands. I think I timed it out too. That's that's why we talk about the Greek curse. Shh. 
Surely I can still win this game, right? How hard can it be to deal two, two more points of damage? Oh, the Greek curse. At least Kaido is kind of gas. I didn't think about it. It's, it's like a bit of an insurance against uh against a people. Not much. Dude, they're not sacking their mind stone. Oh my god. Not like this, chats. There's no way, right? Ain't no way. Dude, and I drew no interaction. Wait, did they misclick? Did they misclick the untapping lands? I don't know what happened there. All right, we saw Time Spiral. We saw Reprieve Lapse. We saw Kitten. Push and Brutality, not, not that bad. They have bad cards, though. That's a problem. These could go bad real fast. But also, the early turns are so clutch. I guess Harvester is pretty bad. Maybe Collective over Harvester. Collective could easily break though. I think I have to keep. It's kind of like a bit of the same hand as game one, but the rest is just so good against them. I think I'm supposed to do rest right away, but. Could be wrong. Mindstone, Sword, <clears throat> Touch, two removal spells, nothing to interact with a Jace. I'm just going to try and slow them down. Good old DT. You get fancy here, you like DT days? DT Mana Drain, like DT Mana Drain. They have Sword and Touch, and we know they have like Mana Leaks and stuff in their deck. Wait, does my Verdant Catacomb even fetch for Untap Blue? It does not. My options are Daze. I could Grief next turn and go all in on the Jace. Get it for a lap still. Just get mana leak. Yeah. DT for mana leak. Classic. Library. That clutch duress. I could slam the counters we saw are the counters we saw are like laps and reprieve. How bad is it if they reprieve into blue mana? It's not the end of the world, right? I get to go Jace minus on your token. I guess I get to touch Urza and get another token. And I probably just lose. Unless I'm just gonna say go, I have I have a hedge maze I can fetch. Filter my draw a bit. Hey Kurt Bros, what's up, buddy? Thank you, thank you. Alright. They might be trying to get to I was, I was kind of surprised they played Dale Land last turn, to be honest. Pretty good. It's like kind of perfect actually. Just if they swords, they don't get to library next turn. If they don't swords, they can library. Oh no, they can library on my turn actually. It's not true. Hmm. Still pretty good. Are you still X1, Jose? 
I've seen better plays. Oh. They're actually smart. They know what they're doing. I'm the fish. Dude, today I'm really off my game and just like, just don't know what I'm talking about. Well, it looks like they did not draw laps or reprieve. That I'm interesting to see just how good. I mean, we know how good reprieve is, but yeah, how good memory laps and reprieve were, would have been. Death touch, so I don't want a time twist. Wait, is touch instant or is touch end of turn? That's instant. We saw time spiral, we did not see upheaval. I should probably just chase, trying to find a counter. I think they could have treachery, and I can bounce it. Thanks. All right, no treachery. I do have like four mystery cards, three mystery cards, and they're all spells. It's not super unlikely to have treachery here. Sun I saw Sunfall, you know. Sunfall's not a big deal. I mean, I, 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 if they don't have and play Sunfall here, I'm just. I see I'm in a great spot. Should play Shelly first for the live game, but I don't care that much. How did Arena go? I played bad. Had a great deck, ran into also great decks didn't play very well they just dump my hand just grist make a token just play a shelly make them have it make them use their cards If they have Sunfall, it's still fine. If they spend their turn to activate Colonnade, also probably fine. Are we getting any trophies yet? No. Rough day. 01 in the, in the Modern Showcase, 4 free on Arena. Lost round one of the first draft. I think I'm going to win this, this first round, though, and my deck is good. My deck's really solid. How about you? You on the grind? You in the mines? The vintage cube mines? You feeding? Losing a bit? Well, there's no such thing as losing a bit. You're either getting tokens or you're losing. Not sure what losing a bit means. Currently I have a sweet modern green around deck that's 1-0. Ooh, nice. Can, can I see? Can, can you share screenshots on the Discord or here? Monogreen's pretty rare these days, no? Or did it curate the cube in a way that Monogreen is a thing again? Because, like, the Soaring Elf is gone. So many of the, like, Hoof is gone. We got rid of all the best cards. Gap scouting. Oh, yeah, good point. We could get paired. I'm free free and one shot at the open, and I'm done making the mature decision. I see. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the one bullet, honestly. Also respect the infinite bullets if you think you have an edge in the draft. Getting to draft on day two is pretty sweet. We're gonna daze a treachery. That'd be glorious. Oh god, it's happening. Dude, daze is just too good. Turn eight. I was probably so fine, even if they kill my Shelly, but it was starting to get a little dicey. 
for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't just kill that. I mean, we didn't see force or anything, right? I guess I should still, uh, still make sure. Triple mode. Dot my T's. Cross my I's. Kitten ring. All right. I did the thing. Triggers. Ugh, man, my opening has been ugly. Utters. Utters Oko. How are you casting that Oko? You have one source, two source, three source, four source. Just cut Oko. It's going to lose you more games than it's going to win you. That's my experience. Trying to splash an Oko and. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. I would cut Oko and Karn, I think, and just play Elf and Fnatic. Cut the Island, cut the Cobra. Well, not as too many cards. I don't know. Witness? Um, I kind of like Witness just because people are going to kill your stuff. And you have Cradle. I think Witness is like a bit better than it looks in this deck. Well, that sucks. Dude, imagine if I had Days here. How is Days so good? All right, well, hopefully I can bitter triumph whatever it gets. Not believe I have an out. Well, this sucked. So I'll do the same bring in brutality cut harvester. Dude, is it so good? <laughs> it's so freaking good. It's even better now with the with the surveillance. It would have been back to back, just go to days, multi days. Should have. Should I get an overgrown? A reason not to. Time Twister, Jar Chariots. Chariots are really not that scary, because I can brutality one of the tokens. Twister could be scary. And Jar could be scary. Seems, um, I don't know. None of these cards are super scary. Flip to me of the Twister. Maybe just Twister is the scariest. Well, Twister I can get with Brutality. What are what are they gonna do? Like just cast Twister next turn? Do their fresh restart? I guess I'll just take the jar. Like a little sus, I didn't take the chariot. <coughs> All right, let's see what we have on top first. I have my fourth land.
just discard the days. I have that Tinker in their deck. But I have Jace for it this time. Huh. Oh, Jace to me is kind of cool. <laughs> so we know their entire hands. Wait, do we? Have the gates in another land, right? Yeah, I played the island. True LED. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, I forgot I saw their hand twice. So I'm going to click now here. Okay. Wait, why did it not attack? Hmm. Got rid of the Urza, I'm clear. They're playing it's a double cure and X record, you're 12 minutes ahead. Yeah, I mean they're XC, they've got nothing to lose. That doesn't work, right? They don't get their jar back. Anyways, can jar. All right, they got one draw step. Lotus Fettel. <laughs> Make it count. Yeah, I think unfortunately they're they are gonna die uh for the ultimate. But they're just dubs. Spawns the token. All right, we saw Chariot. Time Twister thingy. I mean, Harvester buys me a turn against Blightsteel. And it kind of deals with Chariot. It's better than Bitter Triumph. From what we've seen so far. <clears throat> Fallen Shinobi is slow. Yeah, let's do that. I like it. Gives me a small shot at beating. Uh, it could buy me the turn I need to bounce it with Jace. I haven't seen a Jace alt in 10 years or so. That is a good question. I wonder when's the last time uh, I saw a Jace alt. God, what's up with five lands, two spells, every freaking hand? <sighs> I mean, their deck is so much air, like, but I don't think I can keep this, right? Get me out of here. Well, today will, tomorrow will be a better day. Honestly, today was a pretty good day, despite all the losing. My mom's 79. She's doing good. Hello, Lillian. Hello, Mama Hats. 
Taylor's. Two lands, Days DT. Grist is pretty bad against them. Vader Triumph is also pretty bad against them. From what we've seen. 92 and a half and on the downhill, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess no matter how old your, your mom is, it's always like, does she live in a retirement home or? Gris, Gris, Gris. Gris is not going to save me. I mean, I guess I default to just keeping Jace, right? All people community, she has her own apartment. But is it... Well, it could work out, but... Oh, no, never mind. I have the blue-green dual lands. The blue-green surveillance that's actually not that bad. Maybe I should counter that. Love Tinker. Channel? Do they have Colossus again? Can't just own their Colossus, right? Oh, I also have Under City Sewer. What did I think I didn't have? So we know one of their cards is Colossus, most likely. I guess it could just be a jar. He saw Time Twister. Time Twister, Tinker. I'm also not. Oh, I can't even cast it next turn. So it's not going to stop Tinker. It's not going to stop Time Twister. <clears throat> it's good if, like, they don't have the third land yet. And they break on third land. You know what I mean? I'm not going to keep it. Thanks for the huge raids. That might be the last game of the. Of the Amazon thing. taste the rainbow. Amazon taste the rainbow. Amazon taste wow, the rainbow. Amazon taste animation. the rainbow. Amazon taste the rainbow. Hope you had an amazing stream. I'm playing MTGO. You've heard of that event, right? The 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 qualifiers for that real life vintage vintage cube draft where you get to keep the cards. I mean, it's terrible EV. Yellow hat pigeons, yellow hat pigeons, but yellow hat is, pigeons, yellow hat cool pigeons. Arena, Arena Direct? Now, Arena Direct is when you can win boxes. This is like you have to win four matches in a row in a draft and then win nine free drafts in a row against other people who qualified. And then you go to, you qualify for Vegas, you get to draft real vintage cube and get to keep the car so if you open top but it is like biggest long shot ever just the arena qualifier why do you keep mentioning arena i'm playing magic online <laughs> you trolling anyways everyone go check out amy she's amazing she's really fun to watch what are you playing standard these days new standards People seem pretty hype about standards. Person who plays Brawl. They have dual commander now on Magic Online. It's a bit like Brawl, I think. Yeah, I tried the I tried the seal today. I tried one run. I opened an amazing blue-green seal deck. I thought I was gonna breeze through it and I went four and three. I also didn't play very well. All right, so we have we have jar in the yard. We have blight seal colossus covered. So I need to worry about time twister, which I can't do much if they just go time twister next turn. Colossus likely in their hand. No, I think they were just going for jar. Because with channel, you can like pay the life, cast a jar, see what you draw, pay more life. I do not have Thoughtseize. I have the rest. But I think Tutor for the rest is scared and then I might just lose to other things. I think I just preordain and then Tutor. Bitter Triumph. Meh. Meh. Which maze. But yeah, welcome everyone. Streaming. I played some modern today. They had that 
showcase tournament. Modern showcase is like qualifier for a qualifier for the... <laughs> I mean, if you've never played on Magic Online, you might be lost with all these tournaments. Don't blame you. All right, I think from the cards I've seen so far, the one I'm mostly scared of is Time Twister, so no point in brainstorming. Mox Diamond seems like a bad draw. Can't see how it could be a good draw. Gave the arena open a try, a bullet. I don't say I'm going to try some more, and now I'm playing these. Uh... So the way it works is you play a vintage cube draft. You've probably seen like cube draft on arena if you've never played Magic Online. It's kind of like all the best cards in the history of Magic, and then you have to win four in a row. You have to go four and zero, oh. and if if you do, that qualifies you for a sixty-four player tournament, where you have to win two drafts in a row. And if you do that, let's make sure they don't have anything sus. Oh, it made it had the battle sphere right away. Three, four, five mana. All right, I played extra safe. I'm just going to tutor for mana drain, keep the land in the grief, just lock up the game. So yeah, you have to win two more drafts and then you have to win one more draft. It's essentially you have to go, you have to win four matches in a row and then you have to win nine matches in a row. Hmm. That's probably good. And you qualify for that tournament for in Vegas. I think they pay for your flight and stuff. And you get to draft this, but it was real cars, which is really freaking cool. Okay, so this is for Grieve. This is for Dad. I don't need more green mana. I don't need another island. Let's get rid of all my bad cards in case they do cast a Twister at some point. What are my worst cards? Take Tamiyo and Bitter Triumph, I guess. Hardcast to Grief. Cast Tamiyo. I have like, what, two turns, basically? Three turns. Oh, never mind, I have Jace. I'm silly. It does keep plussing Jace. Just almost impossible for them to have two relevant cards in a row at this point. Oh, I can also just flip and get Mana Drain back. Maybe I'll do that next turn. No, I don't even need to Jace. Yeah. Plus, oh. I guess that works. I mean, there's something that actually beats that. Is there, is there something that can, like, end the stack? I don't think so. I mean, it could just gain life, a lot of life. This is probably just bad play, honestly, but whatever. Good enough. All right, so on the play, I have some card selections, like Turn Free Grief on the play. Was a Surveil? Was all my mana? I'll keep that. I think it's good enough. What is a drop showcase? Oh, it means I played in the modern showcase and I dropped at 01. What is a drop showcase? What's in my title? How did I word it? 01 drop showcase. It means I lost the first match of the tournament and stopped playing. It's probably fine. Uh-oh. In the bin? I mean, it is a 7-drop in Return 1, so... 
It's really risky against a black deck. I could just have Necromancy or Animate Dead and win on the spot. Alright, it looks like they're trying to do broken things. Except their hand's literally a pile of unplayable cards. Wow. Their hand is atrocious. How does Brewmaster work with what they have? It doesn't even work, right? Activate abilities. I mean, I could take, take this side, it's like ramp. I'm just gonna take the card they can cast. Get the bug, they can't cast it. I agree it's a little bad if they draw black mana. Dude, what is going on today? Oh my god. It's been just a really rough day. If they go fetch lands, I'm going to lose it. All right, my other land is Hedge Maze. Can't even get it. Okay. Um, so their hand is... Nissa, so any land, and they can cast Nissa next turn, and that would be extremely bad for me. Nissa into Nissa. Oh! I mean, I guess the tap land doesn't cast Nissa. I'm, I thought that was a bad effect. I was thinking if I don't take Nissa to kill my grief and get back Nissa anyways. I should have maybe taken Nissa. Not sure. I was, yeah, I was doing that. Oh, great. From big trouble to just great. All right, Shelly. How did you take this back, dude? I was in I was in bat mode still. I was thinking of the bats. Yeah, I have to creep work like that. And be living in a different world. They've voted druids. Doesn't fix their mana. Just gonna let them have it. Don't want to counter it and then draw land and play this sign I lose. Wow, deck decided to show up. Let's go. Even drew a duress. Duress for Nissa. I haven't played a land, right? They might have infinite mana next turn. They voted Druid and that's Krill. Is that how it works? Your food. Okay, they need to sag their Druid first though, right? Or is it also when it attacks? So I guess I have to counter it. So they have bug, bug and this left. And now I have a land on top, right? 
Session maze. Brainstorm. All right, I have to go back. So what do they have? Bug. That's pretty great. I will say I've been drawing extremely well the past few turns. Oh, never mind. I have Ren Ping. Mm -hmm. Still pretty good. Ren Ping kill my Jace. Okay. It's just not worth it. Let's just get there. Want a spell. And then just say go. Bounce Nissa and attack Bug Emrakul. Mm, really? I think my line was good. Keep forgetting. I keep trying to click these these triggers. Sorry if it's tilting. Uh, I guess I should do that first. No, I should not. Should I even bother? Not probably. Yeah, I think I think I had time to take care of Ren and Six Ultimates. Also, Ren and Six Ultimates is just not that scary when. They have what, like a flame slash, a bug, and no lands. I, I think I played it well. All right. Looks pretty scary. Hmm. It's definitely a necromancy and push matchup. What are we cutting? I guess I'm cutting that. If Ren, I think, is enough to make me cut the bats. And Leovold? Could cut Talisman, I guess. Shinobi? Shinobi's just greedy. Just not that great of a card. They do have good stuff to steal, but I'd rather have cheap cards in my deck. Cheaper cards. Could see Kaido being all slow in this matchup. Kaido's just a nice engine, just one card engine. Um I like that at least Jace has kind of been my MVP. It's good to know that Jace is still a playable card. Um Yeah, I don't know. You need to deal combat damage, unlock creature. F41. Maybe Louisville's all greedy. Oh, maybe Preacher is a worse engine. Gosh, Fox. Thank you so much, Wizard, for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Whoever you are, I'm going to cut Kaido, but I'm not sure. Hello, cute fox emote. Poster check, true. I'll turn on. That was a solid draw. Flame slash <laughs> has a which land for their Ren district? <clears throat> I could get Fatal Push. 
I had to fatal push there. They're gonna count that card next turn, most likely. Could get fatal push. Could get Leo Volbs. Dude, where is it? Could get push, I could get Leo Volbs. Probably these two. Could lose to a Wasteland or a Strip Mine. If I get Leo Vold. At three cards. Four was Catacomb. Five was Push. I'm almost at Dig. Damn, that's one short of just digging right away. We saw this. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to get Leo Vold. Like Leo Vold, I could maybe beat Anissa Top Deck with Leo Vold Time Twister. Let me turn on the rest of my plates. I don't know. Probably more than average. You know, yeah, sure. Always turn on the rest. 100%. For sure. Yeah, sure. With SME, you're only allowed exactly average luck. Not a little better, not a little worse. Okay, that is a powerful play. Should have gone on Fatal Push. Like Gerb's getting shrunk by the thingy, so that's a bad play. Gris is too old, too 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 late. Try to shuffle the Hanager and draw seven cards. Fetching does nothing, right? It doesn't really fit my deck. Damn, I'm gonna lose this game. Should have gotten Fatal Push. I need them to break like horrendously. Like no lands, no fetch land, no relevant spells. Maybe two basic lands I can beat. Feels like I need like jelly in the bin. Almost harvester. Cute, but doesn't do anything for me. Brutality. Oh, I can harvest her on their turn. I can necromancy on their turn. Can we cast as the head flash? I mean, that keeps me alive. Bitter Triumph, the one was Nintuko. Bring back Harvester, kill all their stuff. I can wait, right? right? Wait till they attack. Kill now, yeah, I need to kill before they get a land trigger, obviously. Man, I think stinging Leo Vault Time Twister would catch me up from any, almost any spot, but really I just needed to not fall behind in the first phase.
Bonjour. Not sure it's enough to oh. Unfortunately, not going to be enough unless I draw to have menace rights. I'm so close. So freaking close. Kelly, Preacher. I guess let's see what they have in hand. Recall. They even bricked. They even bricked like kind of hard, but it didn't matter. All right, on the play, on the play, I can do the bats. Canadian beacons, what's up? On the play, I can do the bat. Don't know, stuff, everything's just better when I'm on the play. <laughs> Shocker. I guess I could cut Leoval Twister. It's kind of my lock, but. The Shinobi Pipe Dream. Could cut Dig. We didn't play, we didn't see a single card that draws cards, right, for them. A really good dig deck. I feel like it's kind of sus to cut dig. All right, I'm just going to go all in on, like, curve opening hands. No nonsense. Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder seems fine. Oh, uh, classic talisman worse than a basic land. I have Tamiya in my deck. I could just have like Tamiya two lands. It's a five card hand. I think I'm supposed to keep the grave. Kevin, the dude, welcome to the chats. Hope you enjoy your stay. Right. Well, I can't do anything about it anyways. Need a fatal push. <clears throat> I mean... That's against a removal spell. We saw Flame Slash. I guess the Goat doesn't kill her quite yet. What am I even hoping for besides exactly a removal for uh, Halfling? Dude, I can't believe they have Halfling against my Mulligan to 5, and that's my freaking hand. Oh my god. Yo, know, like to me, it's gonna be way too slow. If I don't keep Tamiya, I need to draw so well. They might have a non-legendary spell. I could could cope. I mean, there's a miracle world where I go Tamiya and hard cast the days on a spell. But that 3-4 is legendary. Nissa is legendary. Remaster of the legend? Okay. That's a plus. All right, I'm just going to graveyard it. Keep 
Yeah, it's just too slow. I have to play it, it has to live, I have to like sack a clue, it's just on oh, no, I a lot of yeah, I'm back free, so I went for it. It's just so good. What a card. What a freaking card. I'm at 18, they're at 19, so I'm going to get a 1-1, one -one, which I don't want, but there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have mana drain mana now. I don't have Delta or Tundra or anything, unfortunately. Right? No. Sure. Did I see? No, of course not. I would have played Marshlands. Obviously, I would have played Marshlands. I feel like it's worth a bluff, right? I might think I have like collective brutality. Is that even better than griefing? I feel like that's better than griefing, right? Yeah. I also showed them Harvester. And we know they're not ghosting because they cast Fruit of Reach into my days. I don't think they've seen the, sh they've seen the Shinobi. I could be game losing. Because now. Oh, are you guessing that Great Friend Way was also? I was just scared of like some legend, but we know they don't have Nissa. Yeah. Puns. Blew it. Oh, they couldn't command, so. Griddle. Oh man, if I just say go, I have a better shot at winning. I don't know if I win. How many did block that token? That's such a sick read. After seeing Harvester, I, it seemed like such an atrocious block, honestly, but they literally saw Harvester and Brutality. Like, did they read me for exactly Shinobi? That was a draw. That was like probably the only card that saves me. Hold. No. Well, I guess I have mana drain. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Land, land, then to go. Of this game. No. Do I have to chump? Aren't you dead? How am I dead? They bestow? What? Oh, they have Nissa. Right, Nissa gives them the mana. Dude, I didn't realize how good that escape of the wilds was. Oh my god. Unbelievable. The worst part is they have Emrakul in hand. Can shoot me. They have Emrakul in hand, so I can't even hit Emrakul off Shinobi. Oh, both go to trigger. Oh, that's so gross. Damn, GG's. I would have won if I hadn't played like the grief right away.
I have such a sick rip. I drew like almost the best possible card I could hit and I get 40 play points back for two wins. I didn't even realize that. Is that new? All right, 11. Gents, I think I'm done. Yeah, this, this side is...